Proteins are the main bodybuilding foods. They contain the materials for growth, repair, and replacement. Protein-rich foods include meat, fish, eggs, cheese, beans, peas, and vegetables. Breads and grains also contain protein, but to a lesser extent. The body's main source of energy comes from carbohydrates. Potatoes, pastas, cereals, bread, rice, and some fruits and nuts are all good sources of carbohydrates. There are two types of carbohydrates, simple and complex. Simple carbohydrates are sugars. Complex carbohydrates are starches. Carbohydrates are the result of photosynthesis when plants combine carbon, oxygen, and water. Fats provide twice as much energy as carbohydrates, but are used primarily as storage components for future use. Fats can be divided into two groups. Fats that are solid at room temperature are called saturated fats and include animal fats, dairy products, and solid vegetable shortenings. Unsaturated fats are liquid at room temperature and are oils made from corn, sunflower seeds, and soybeans. Cholesterol is used by the body, but in some people it collects on the walls of blood vessels and can block the flow of blood. Cholesterol is found in saturated fats. It is advised to limit the amount of fats in diets because of the cholesterol question. Vitamins, minerals, and fiber are substances that are also important to a balanced diet. They contain no energy, but do play important roles in maintaining a healthy body. Vitamins are chemicals used for growth, repair, and other body functions. Fresh fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamins. Cooking often destroys vitamins, so eating fresh, uncooked fruits and vegetables is a good practice. Minerals are substances that are also needed for many important body functions. Like vitamins, they are not needed in large amounts. As an example, calcium is used to build strong bones and teeth. Fiber helps to keep your digestive tract functioning properly. It is found in such foods as whole grain bread, cereals, vegetables, and fruits. All foods can be analyzed for how much energy they contain. This measurement is called a calorie. Scientifically speaking, a calorie is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. An instrument called a calorimeter can be used to test the energy potential of foods. The calorie that nutritionists refer to when describing the energy supplied by food is actually 1,000 calories of heat energy. Some foods are high in calories and some are low. For the average teenager to function, about 2,000 to 3,000 calories of food energy is required on a daily basis. Any calories that are not used as energy will be stored as fat tissue. So people eat various foods to bring into the body the nutrients needed to sustain life. When food is eaten, it is not in a form that can be used by the body, so it is broken down into nutrients through the process of digestion.